You may have seen the new hybrid Corvette that Chevy announced this week. It's called the E-Ray, and while the name is stupid, the car itself is anything but. It has a 6.2 liter V8 powering the wheels in the back as always, but of course this is America and that's never enough. The E-Ray also has an electric motor powering the front two wheels. As I said, E-Ray is a pretty stupid name. I think they should have gone with Chevrolet Corvette Electric Boogaloo. This electric anomaly produces about 655 wheel horsepower and 595 pound-feet of torque. It runs 0 to 60 in just 2.5 seconds on an unprepped surface and runs the quarter mile in 10 and a half. While this isn't necessarily the fastest Corvette, it is definitely the quickest. Now I can sit here all day and list specs, but what does it actually mean? Electric engines typically have a lot more torque than gas engines, meaning acceleration is quicker. That's why the Corvette is so quick off the line. Because of the added weight of the battery and electric motors, the car's higher speed isn't as high as some previous models. In day-to-day -day driving, the electric motors kick in during fast acceleration and while the car is shifting gears. That means as you're shifting gears, it's still accelerating. Unfortunately, the car only comes in automatic. It also means that on the track, you can power out of turns faster. And because it's an all wheel drive car, you won't be spinning out quite as often as you would on a rear wheel drive Corvette. The electric motors can drive the car all by themselves for a range of about four miles up to 40 miles per hour. This is so you can leave the neighborhood without waking up your neighbors with your V8 Corvette. Now I hear exactly what you're thinking when you hear all wheel drive. And yes, the Corvette can handle extreme terrain. In fact, much better than some all-wheel drive cars because the electric motors up front can handle variable torque quicker than a gas engine. And Chevy knows this, the car is being shipped standard with all season tires. If you want track tires or summer tires, you're gonna have to pay extra. The only reason you can't take this thing off-roading is because it's not high enough off the ground. I wanna see somebody put a lift kit on their E-Ray, that'd be sick. As you brake, the motor slowly charges the battery back up. And this isn't a plug-in hybrid, meaning the only thing you can put into the Chevy is boring old fuel. Now, what does this mean for the future of hybrid sports cars or even the future of the automotive industry? Probably nothing. To be honest, I don't think a lot of companies are going to be copying this strategy. Having the electric engines and the gas engines drive separate drivetrains on the car requires a lot of computing. Basically, there's a bunch of complicated software to figure out how to exactly apply the right amount of torque to cover the acceleration in between shifts. It's interesting to watch it happen, but it was probably very complicated to make, and you're not getting a whole lot of practicality. The reaction you get from most people when you tell them it's an all-wheel drive Corvette is a laugh. It's a silly concept. It's a V8, so you're not saving anything on gas mileage. And it's not a plug-in, so you're not getting any extra range. This car is a performance car, and it's only really going to be bought by extreme enthusiasts. Really, it's the ultimate enthusiast car. I don't know who's going to buy this, but I'd sure like to meet him. Party on, dudes.